I have one sister. She doesn't talk. She doesn't believe that anybody can really understand what the Holocaust was all about. It wasn't bad. The word bad cannot be used. It was terrible. It was really and truly the most horrible thing you can possibly, I don't know if you can, imagine. During one of the greatest conflicts the world has ever known, 67% of the European Jewish population was exterminated as part of Hitler's final solution. And when it was over, 110,000 desperate and displaced people made their way to the promised land, Palestine. So when these girls came in, we wanted to know what happened to our ghetto, what happened to our parents. And they said, you mean you don't know? They're all dead. They were all in, they were sent to the gas chambers. Was that the worst day of my life? Probably. Because we heard many rumors before, but this, these, these girls went through Auschwitz and they told us that most probably, if, we, if I didn't hear from my mom and dad and my kid sister, my kid brother, that they are probably dead, that they were killed in Auschwitz. The British government wanted to block the Jews from Palestine because the Arabs did not want to share their country with the Jews, and the British needed the Arabs' oil. By banning the Jews, the British sought to ally themselves with the Arabs and remain trading partners. The British feared they would alienate the Arabs, and therefore reneged on the Balfour Declaration of November 1917, in which Britain had promised a national home for the Jews in Palestine. The Jews did find a path to Palestine. The Ali Abet was an underground movement that brought Jewish refugees from Europe to Palestine from 1934 to 1948. The British called this illegal immigration. The Haganah, secret armed forces made up of local defense groups in the Jewish settlements of Palestine and aided by American and other foreign volunteers, played a key role in helping the immigration of the survivors. And this one young girl I talked to, she heard that there were ships, you know, secret ships that were taking Jewish refugees out of Europe and bringing them to Palestine. I, she asked me if I knew where these ships were or where they were anything about them since I was a sailor, and I told her no, I really hadn't known about it. So when I got back to the States, I immediately went around and asked a lot of people questions as to if anybody knew anything about these so-called secret ships that were
carrying refugees and orphans out of Europe to Palestine. Of the 66 ships used to transport the Jews to Palestine, 12 were funded and manned by Americans. The most famous of these was the Exodus. Because of the British blockade, journeys that would normally have taken 12 days, in some cases, took up to 34 days. fruit-carrying ships, and uh, so during the day we had to be in the ship, at night we could go out up on the deck. During the day maybe 10-15 people at a time were allowed to exit because the British were looking at us. The main thing I remember in terms of the survivors and refugees we were transporting was how crowded it was down below decks where they were stuffed like sardines. When this ship was a luxury yacht for American presidents and their guests, they carried at maximum less than 100 guests we carried approximately 1,400 refugees. Just when we got within about uh, 20 miles, uh, almost nearly 20 miles from the shores of Palestine, we could almost see it. Uh, the British destroyers attacked. They suddenly swooped around us through uh, big steel cables over our ship. Uh, they uh, poured tear gas over the decks, clubbed everybody to the deck. Everybody had it. Live from the deck. And the British towed the ship into the harbor. Uh, they waited till nightfall so nobody in the shore could see what was going on. From about five, six miles from Haifa, they turned us around and back into the island of Cyprus. With Palestine in sight, the Jewish refugees were turned back and sent to a displaced persons camp on the island of Cyprus. By 1948, the British held more than 50,000 Jewish refugees in squalid internment camps on Cyprus. The conditions on the displaced persons camps were horrible. The refugees who had been living in the Nazis' concentration camps for the past one to four years were confined once again. Had the doors to Palestine, because there was no Israel, been open, 90% of the Holocaust survivors, maybe more, would have gone. Last thing you kiss the ground, and next thing is uh, you are wet and hungry. Attempting compromise, the British withdrew. The United Nations voted to support the partition of Palestine. The Jews declared their independence and the creation of the State of Israel on May 14, 1948. The United States promptly recognized Israel. Furious, the Arabs immediately invaded Israel and the conflict continued. It's our 11th commandment. Survive and overcome and continue progress. <laughs>